ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് എല്ലാവർക്കും ഹിസാന ഓൾഡിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ഞാൻ ഹിസാന ഞാൻ ഇന്ന് നമ്മുടെ ബേസിക് സയൻസിൻ്റെ ഫസ്റ്റ് ചാപ്റ്റർ റീപ്പിംഗ് ഗോൾഡ് ഫ്രം സോയിലിൻ്റെ ഫസ്റ്റ് ചാപ്റ്ററിലുള്ള ഫുള്ള് നോട്ട്സാണ് കാണിച്ചു തരാൻ പോകുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ ഇത് ചിലവരൊന്നും എഴുതിയിട്ടുണ്ടാവില്ല പെൻഡിങ് ആയിരിക്കും ചിലവരുടെ അത് അവർക്കൊക്കെ ഇത് വളരെയധികം ഉപകാരമാവും അപ്പോൾ ഈ വീഡിയോയിലോട്ട് കിടക്കുന്നതിന് മുമ്പ് ഈ ചാനൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടാൽ ലൈക്ക് ചെയ്യുക ഷെയർ ചെയ്യുക അതുപോലെ തന്നെ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യുക സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ അടുത്താണ് ബെല്ലൈക്കൺ നിൽക്കാൻ മറക്കരുത് ബെല്ലൈക്കൺ നിൽക്കുമ്പോൾ ഓൾ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഐക്കണും പ്രസ് ചെയ്യുക അപ്പം നമുക്ക് ഉടനെ തന്നെ വീഡിയോയിൽ ഫസ്റ്റ് ചാപ്റ്റർ റീപ്പിംഗ് ഗോൾഡ് ഫ്രം സോയിൽ ഫസ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വാട്ട് വി നീഡ് ടു ഡു ടു ഗെറ്റ് ദി ബെസ്റ്റ് ഗീൽഡ് ആൻസർ good care fertile soil favorable climate quality seeds and planting materials pest control second question what to consider when choosing seeds answer the seeds should be taken from a good fruit tree the seeds should be taken from a non diseased plant The seed should be taken from a medieval plant. Concept map. Things should be considered when choosing seeds. Plants with high yield, disease free plants, fruits form in mid span. Concept map. Sara Varakam Barna Erano. Other Idine Tare Ide Bole Varachal Madi. third question seedlings transplanted and no transplanted seedlings transplanted no transplanted ennu varne oru table thayaarakkan parne appo seedlings transplanted spinach cheera paddy nell brinja green chilli tomato no transplanted il varunnathu ladies finger pea bayar cucumber bitter gourd bottle gourd fourth question what is the difference between sexual reproduction and vegetative propagation answer the formation of seedlings from seeds is by sexual reproduction the formation of new plantlets from parts like root stem and leaf is called vegetative propagation sexual reproduction and vegetative propagation ne korche or table tayaarakkan parnayirunnu aadhyamay sexual reproduction papaya paddy spinach cucumber bottle gourd bitter gourd vegetative propagation tapioca rose bryophyllum dahlia sweet potato hibiscus and onion fifth question how can we produce a new plant having all the qualities of the parent plant answer by layering we can produce a new plant having all the qualities of the parent plant sixth question what is the method to produce a new plant with all the qualities of the parent plant by layering answer layering selective branches of the plant from a which sapling is to be produced the branches must be pencil thick the branches from the main stem are better peel of 1 cm of bark from the stem in a circular shape cover the peeled of bark with a slightly moistened mixture of coconut fiber soil and sawdust cover it with a polythene sheet tie both ends with jute twine wet it with enough water to retain moisture numerous roots will sprout within two months cut the branch and plant it in a pot till it is ready to be transplanted in the soil take it to the plant the sapling in a suitable place question number 7 name the two types of layering answer air layering and ground layering question number 
write the features of layering answer features of layering have the qualities of the parent plant do not possess tap root system require more care don't have much life span what is layering layering is a process which we can produce plants have the same quality of the mother plant 10th question what are the methods to grow high quality plants which normally do not grow in our soil as our indigenous varieties answer by grafting we can grow high quality plants which normally do not grow in our soil as our indigenous varieties what is grafting answer grafting is a method of vegetative propagation to produce plants of high quality or superior quality plant by joining the stems of two plants of the same species the rooted plant selected for grafting is called stock and the branch selected for grafting is called scion twelfth question what is the method of grafting methods of grafting answer nanu ivada varachenne ullu ningalku varakade allengil varachu ullu peel off the bark from the facing sides of both the stock and scion in 3 and 1/2 cm length bring the peeled off portion of stalk and scion in contact with each other wrap them together firmly with a jute twine cover it with a wax cloth or a plastic tape after a one month cut partially the stalk above the covered area and the scion below Wait for one month and cut and detach the part completely. When it attains proper growth, it can be replanted in a more suitable place. Remove any new branches sprouting on the stalk. Thirty. What is budding? Answer. Budding is a process of producing new superior quality plant by joining the bud in plant of same species. 14. Write the methods of budding. The methods of budding. Cut off the bud from a quality plant. Make a T-shaped cut on the plant. with which the bud is to be grafted and leave the bark open insert the bud into the t shaped cut on the bark wrap it in a such a way that the bud is exposed cut off the upper part of the stalk when the bud attains proper growth 15 What do you mean by hybridization? Answer: Hybridization is the method of producing new seeds through artificial pollination between plants of the same species but of different characteristics. 16. What do you mean by tissue culture? Answer: Tissue culture is the process of producing a new generation from a cell or tissue of a plant. 70 what do you mean by intercrops answer short term crops cultivated among the main group in such a way that they do not have the main crop are called intercrops complete table main crop pack intercrops main crop coconut intercrops plant name tapioca turmeric and cereals main crop plantain in the crops yam spinach tapioca main crop rubber in the crops pineapple up to 4 or 5 only 18 what do you mean by crop rotation 
answer cultivating a different crop instead of the crop cultivated earlier is called crop rotation 90 what are the benefits of crop rotation a crop rotation can help to manage your soil and fertility reduce erosion improve your soil's health and increase nutrients available for crops 20 what is the importance of cultivating plants in pulses answer nitrogen is an essential element for all plants plants cannot directly absorb atmospheric nitrogen plants can adopt adopt when atmospheric nitrogen convert to nitrate some bacteria convert the atmospheric nitrogen to nitrate rhizobium is an example for this this bacteria lives in the roots of the legumes pyoverma plants cultivation of these plants will increase the nitrogen content of the soil 21 classify the given into bio fertilizer and chemical fertilizer poultry droppings super phosphate factum fos bone meal cow dung rock phosphate compost manure goat droppings urea ureate of potassium bio fertilizer and chemical fertilizer bio fertilizer poultry droppings bone meal cow dung goat droppings compost manure chemical fertilizer super phosphate factum fos rock phosphate urea ureate of potassium 22 what is the difference between bio fertilizer and chemical fertilizer make a table answer bio fertilizer chemical fertilizer bio fertilizer non harmful to soil chemical fertilizer destroys soil composition bio fertilizer can be prepared at home chemical fertilizer can be prepared only on industrial batches bio fertilizer required large in quantity chemical fertilizer required less in quantity bio fertilizer mixes slowly with soil chemical fertilizer mixes quickly with soil bio fertilizer cannot be provided as a specific salt chemical fertilizer can be provided as a specific salt answer about tobacco decoction cut 1 kg tobacco into small pieces soak them in 15 liter of water for one day filter this and dissolve 100 g scrap bar soap it in by stirring well tobacco pesticide is ready dilute this by adding double the quantity of water and then spray on plants 24 What do I mean by integrating farming? Answer: It is a farming practice that involves different areas of work like agriculture and animal husbandry. Twenty-five. Look at this. Give three examples for integrating more than one field of agriculture: cow, rubber, poultry, paddy, vegetables, agriculture. cow paddy vegetables agriculture rubber poultry cow paddy 25 what are the advantages of integrating more than one field of agriculture answer farmer will get additional income better usage of the resources 26 how can red flowers be obtained from a hibiscus plant that produces white flowers answer graft a twig of the plant with red flowers on the plant with white flowers but the white flowered plant using a bud taken from the red flower plant 27 visit a nearby plant nursery are the plants produced through budding tissue culture etc 
are these planners produced through cutting uh, any other method tabling the information collected adu nangale ottil cheyyanadana adonde nan ende answer kaanikkunnilla more questions and answers namukku korchu koodale questions and answers nokka right sam hybrid varieties coconut tree chandralaksha chandrashankara lakshaganga padi pavitra haraswa annapurna p lola maliga bhagyalakshmi jyotiga green chilli ujwala jwalamugi anugraha ladies finger kiran arka anamika salkirti brinjal surya shweda harida neelima tomato mukti anaka akshaya nimsam agricultural research institutes in our states answer kerala agricultural university kau mannuthi thrissur central tuba groups research institute ctcri srigarin tiruvananthapuram indian institute of spices research ii sr kolikot rubber research institute of india rr ii kotayam central plantation crops research institute cpcri kasaragod regional research centers of kerala agricultural university it is through the krishi bhavan that seed varieties and planting materials developed by research institutes are bought to farmers please subscribe to my channel bye bye